Yo, 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 and we're back on the Free Thinking Reality Radio with your boy Free Thinker Gene. Your boy Free Thinker Walt. We got a special guest in here today. You want to tell the people your name? Keith Griffin. Keith Griffin. How you doing today, man? Good. Hmm. Well, Keith Griffin, I, um, I follow, I've been following Keith Griffin for like the last three years over at East Tech. I've been um, going to his games, watching him play ball. Very nice basketball player. I, um... I actually had a chance to know his father. His father was a little older than I was, well, actually a lot older than I was, but I had a chance to watch his father play basketball. He, he was very good. I, he was the first guy I ever seen going a fast break and do a 360. Ooh. Tripped me out, man. We was kids. We was going crazy. I'm talking about he was, he, was, he was dope. He was nice. So when I heard that his son was playing at East Tech, I had to go see who he was, and I checked him out, and he was, he was good. He just wasn't dunking like his pops, but he could shoot like him. So, um... He got a story here today, man, and we just want you to tell your story. Tell the people your story, man. I mean, my name is Keith Griffin. I'm 19 years of age. I was shot during street violence. I was the number one point guard in the state of Ohio. I went down the wrong path. A lot of you boys and girls trying to go down. Hmm. I lost my mom through street violence. I mean violence. I lost my dad through violence. I'm no stranger to the dumb life, a.k.a. that street life. I got two. I got shot two different times, four times in the leg the first time, and four times in the chest and one time in the neck the second time. And through all that, God still got me here. God got a plan, reason, and purpose for all of us. Hmm. That's deep, man. Um. How like how does that feel, man? Like. Like, how do you feel surviving those things? Like, a lot of people don't come back from those things, Keith. Like, I saw a lot of guys get murdered, like, in my face. Like, I saw, I lost my cousin, and he only got shot once. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so you here for a reason, man. Like, how does that feel to be here, like, and be able to sit up and live through it and, and survive through it and still talk? How does that feel? Like, how does that make you feel, man? I mean, it's a blessing, man. Like, not listening to my grandma, not listening to people who was positive, doing positive things around me. I mean, like, it's just, yeah, it's a blessing. Like, it's a blessing. Truly, like, blessing. And God, man, if people say God ain't right or God ain't talking to me, man, he he's talking to you, but he just giving you signs. Mm-hmm. And... I mean, yeah, just give you signs. Just blessing, man. It's a blessing. Blessing to be here. Definitely. And I got shot two different times. And I'm still here. And God's still trying to make me give him, get the word out that he's been trying to make me do. So I'm just trying to, you know, share the word to anybody and everybody. Because, man, I got a niece. I know I'm going to have kids, and I don't want them to grow up and know, like, their father was a knucklehead, their father didn't listen, their father could have did this and that, and they ain't do it. I just want my son to notice me as, you feel me, showing, I mean, like, I want to say, like, mm, like I want I want to be a positive role model, mm -hmm. basically. Mm. But, yeah, it's just, it's a blessing, man, blessing. Man, I'm glad you're here, man. I, um, like I said, I used to keep, man, I used to always follow you. Like, I, um, I used to keep tabs. Like, I used to ask about you a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, even before the incident yeah. happened. Um, if you don't mind me asking, where were you, um, what, like, what area were you, like, when you, like, you know, when this happened to you the last time? Like, what area were you at? Um, in Longwood. They call it down the way. Ooh. Like, on 55th. And you see, and the reason why I asked that is because I had already knew the location, but the crazy part about that is that's the same area where your father was at. Yeah. And it was and it was like ironic, like when I heard that and I um I actually I got the phone call and I flew. I drove down the way. I was I was somewhere else. I drove down the way. And um because they called me, like, you know the young guy that you always talking about, he you know, he got shot down here. So I flew down the way. By the time I got down there, it had already happened. And I, you know, I asked him where it is at, and it was like Longwood, and it just crushed me because 
like I said, your father was a was a role model to us. Like the kids growing up, I was probably about ten. You know what I'm saying? So he was a role model to us. So you know, man. Um, and it was I'm, yeah, it was like two streets. I got shot on 36. My dad got shot on 38th. Wow. So it's two streets to all this. Hmm. So what's the biggest thing that you would tell the kids, man? You know, because like you said. It's a lot of kids just growing up in these streets, and they and they think it's just cool, man. They listen to the music, they want to be this, they carry guns. I mean, I still live in that environment. Mm -hmm. I still live in that environment. So, what's the biggest message that you would give to the kids, fathers carrying guns and doing all this dumb thing, all this dumb stuff? I mean, just just to stay focused. Don't just listen to your parents, man. Cause my granny, she the realest. Always stayed on my side. Always been on my side. The realest one, man. Kevin 100 with me, who wasn't my friends, who was my friends, who really was my friends. And now I'm not saying that I don't got no friends or whatever, but you see who always here, who I'm going to visit people who taking me and who shadow me around is my grandma. Like my granny, I used to not listen to my grandma. I used to run away from my grandma all the time. Like every hood everybody know her like everybody when i say everybody everybody from up the way down the way st Clair around that area like everybody know her because she never gave up on me man she never gave up on me that's why i'm saying i would never give up she she didn't she low-key ran me over like it wasn't it wasn't bad but you feel me it wasn't good but still like she ain't run me over to try to kill me she run me over just wanted me to do better, mm -hmm. be positive. Wait, 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 feel wait. You me? said ran you over. What you mean? Yeah, ran me over. Like, I'm running from her off a bike, trying to, like, you know, not listen to my granny. She yelling. She yelling. <laughs> she yelling all, uh, telling me to get in the house. I done stayed out all night. I'm running from her, running from her. She trying to look for me, telling mm -hmm. me to get home. Just wanted me to be, not even get home, just wanted me to be around people who are positive. Right. And you feel me? She really ran me over, but she ain't try to kill me. But it's still like I'm glad she did that, cause now, you feel me? I'm, I don't regret nothing I did, but you feel me? It just made me a man who I am now. Like yeah. now I'm trying to talk and get the message out and make sure people hear it. Like, well, Granny sound like a gangster. Yeah, <laughs> but she ain't. <laughs> but she ain't, man. I swear, so like now, you know, you yeah, um. Yeah, for Man, my grandmother passed, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And it hurt me. It hurt me deeply because when I came home from prison, she provided somewhere for me to stay. Like, you know, I'd have came home homeless. My granny pulled me in. And when she passed, killed me. I, I never had a feeling like that. So, you know what I'm saying? For your granny to still be here, man, through everything, even when you was wild running the streets and doing whatever and she was on your back, I'm pretty sure she ain't run you over to run you over. I'm yeah. pretty sure, you know, it probably just hit the brake a little yeah. too hard or something like that. But yeah. you got to you gotta embrace that. And God has a way of putting you through certain things to let you know who's still there because she's sitting behind you right now. Oh, yeah, she could have gave up. You know what I'm saying? Never gave up. She was, people used to tell us to send him to jail, do this and that to him. Don't let him do this and that. She never, like, she just wanted me to be positive. That's why now before... She lead this earth anytime. I'm going to make sure she lead this earth with me doing something positive, me mm. doing what she wanted me to do. Mm. So I'm just, you know, just thankful, blessed, all that for her. Definitely, definitely like her. I man. can see, I can, I, I can see the humbleness in you. I can hear it in your voice. You know what I'm saying? And like when I used to watch your games, you was the, you was more vocal. You was yeah. more loud. You was get over there, get over there, get over there. You was point guard. Yeah. And you know I don't I don't want to sound selfish, but you know I'm a real East Tech fan. And mm -hmm. when you went out, we went down there and we lost Central. St I mean, what was that Cleveland? I mean Central Catholic. Clever, yeah. And I knew if we would have had you, we would have pulled it off. Tough, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was like wow, like it was, it was hard to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like without you being on the court, man. Right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So you had and you still got real fans that was watching you, man. Still rooting for you. For still, you, we yeah. still rooting for you, man. Still want yeah. me to do with that. Not do, but want me to like use my purpose in life, like mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, they still want me to like help young kids mm -hmm. and people who going through or went through 
or not even went through what everything I went through because I done been through a lot. Not saying, you feel me? Like, I'm mad that I done been through it. It's just I learned from it. Mm-hmm. And just, you feel me? Just like, I mean, I'm 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 sorry, cause I you know no, I you keep going, bro. This you. I, I mean, I don't like really talking to people, but you know, I got to talk now, and I got to learn how. And this is my first time getting on here, getting on the mic, like talking to kids. But yeah, just like you know, just wanted me to use my purpose in life. Mm. Mm-hmm. You ain't just talking to kids, brother. You talking to old Everybody people too. too. Yeah, you know definitely. Everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. Uh, uh, a story that's you know what I'm saying that's out of this world, brother. Because when Walt told me about you, you know what I'm saying, and told me what's happening, I had to meet you. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Yes. And you're a strong brother. Yes. You understand what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying for real. I'm telling you that. You know, because hell, they could hit me in the pinky and it's a wrap for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you right <laughs> out. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But for you to be able to acknowledge that your grandmother, you know what I'm saying, because God talked to us through everything, man, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He used your grandmother for that, you yeah. understand what I'm saying. But it seemed like, man, you, 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 you headed in the right direction. But my question to you is, is that now that you got all this, this knowledge, you got granny, you got your back, and I'm pretty sure you got whatever love was in you, where are you going now with this? What do you, what, what, is, what do you want to have happened man Next. man i really want to make like get somewhere kids gonna listen to it okay. and like for me talking like i wrote this thing on my instagram for the first time and he got like thousands some likes on there like usually my pictures getting on Instagram, like a hundred likes, fifty likes, right. just for me. You feel me? Right, like right. talking to God and telling me mm. what He wanted me to do and why I ain't been did it. Right. All that just He blessed me basically. Like got every, got every, got me on a good mind yeah. state. So y'all took. All right, well, um, well, we can ready to go on a quick break on Free Thinker Reality Radio, but when we get back, we're going to talk more with Keith. So we live on Free Thinker Reality Radio with your boy, Free Thinker Walt. And your boy, Free Thinker Gene. And we back live on Free Thinker Reality Radio with your boy, Free Thinker Walt. And your boy, Free Thinker Gene. So we back with my man, Keith, here. And um, basically, you know what I'm saying, like, during the break, I was trying to ask my man, you know what I'm saying, when he was out there, you know, the things he was doing or whatever, whatever, that... Besides, okay, I don't want to get into details on exactly what you were doing, but when this happened, like, you shot the first time, like, how long was it till you were shot the second time? It's like two years after. Two years after? Three. Three? Around there. No, it was around, like, the same people, or? Oh, no, no, it was different people, but. Different um, cases. Yeah, different cases, too. Now, now let me ask you this, because. Here on the Pavement Slave radio station, on the Free Thinker reality show, we like to be completely honest. Mm-hmm. We like to just speak freely, you know what I'm saying? If you mm-hmm. don't want to answer, you know what I'm saying? You tell me, Jane, shut the hell up. Uh, my thing is this. By you being this phenomenal basketball player and everything and having opportunities like that, what made you like want to still mess with the streets, though? You know what I'm saying? Because it sounds like, I didn't know you then, I'm, I'm getting to know you now, but it sounds like you've made a complete 180. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So all I just want to know is is that what made you want to live that lifestyle even though you got that God-gifted talent, you know what I'm saying, that ball? Yes. What made you want to mess with the streets and not try to be like the next LeBron or the next whatever? I mean, it wasn't really like what made me, I mean... Yeah, it was like like I was always like I'm from the St. Clair area. Okay. So that's where I grew up. That's where my atmosphere. That's my my your hood. Your hood. Yeah. yeah, I got you, baby. So I mean, that's how I was like the environment I was in. Mm-hmm. That's how I was 
Not saying I was raised that way, but that's what I saw that way. You got to adapt to your environment. Right, so man. basically saying, like, but, this hood, down with that hood. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, but it never stopped me. Like, mm-hmm. I stayed strong to not even get into the environment where everybody else doing. I stay. I always stay in the gym, working out, getting better, trying to be the best player I can be. And... I mean, I got the feeling myself. I got to being cocky. And then I got into a situation. That's what really made me, like, be all about the streets because the situation I was in, I ain't know if I was going to jail, if I wasn't going to jail, mm-hmm. and this and that. And I tried to play for my AU team, and I tried to try out. Some people hated on me mm. and said this and that, so I couldn't play, period, until that got straightened out. Right. So, you know, just like I should have kept a positive mindset, and I was thinking the negative and positive, but mm. my mind was just surfing around, and I ain't know, basically, like, I ain't had no no guidance to where you feel me to, to really really talk to me like right. if i was when i was in the eighth and i came to talk to me like i would definitely listen but it wasn't really nobody i can really get to you get to me yeah. i got you yeah and that's all i'm just trying to do is get to somebody that was like me or still is like me mm-hmm. well you know you say you um you you you, you give you know what i'm saying thanks and pretty much to your, uh, you know, 180 turn to your grandmother. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? And now how is your relationship with your grandmother? Now, I mean, we're, she's here in the studio today, but I'm saying, like, what what is your relationship more like with her now? I mean, from the disobedient, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we are always bad, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Disobedient, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We don't yes. never want to listen. But I'm saying, but, you know, What's the difference now, your relationship now with her from the disobedient Keith to now humble Keith? What is your relationship now with her? I mean, appreciating that, you feel me, she never gave up on me. Just noticing that, you feel me, she want the best for me Mm -hmm. and always wanted the best for me. Right. And now that this happened, it really opened my eyes. Right. And other stuff in my life happened. Like, it really opened my eyes to where, like, I know what I got to do. Right. And, like, I didn't been where everybody was on your team to to nobody on your team. Whew. To, again, somebody on your team. Mm-hmm. To another, you feel me, ain't nobody on your team. Right. So I didn't been through it. I just say that, man, I don't, I swear I don't want nobody to go through what I went through. Now, because, you know, we got a lot of fans out there and different people listening or whatever. So, to that knucklehead ass kid. <laughs> that, no, sorry, I was saying Grandma Dynamite behind me, y'all. <laughs> I had jumped. My, my fault. I got to watch my language, y'all, for real. Um, to that, to that uh, misguided soul out there. Yeah. To that person out there that think that, you know what I'm saying, they stuff don't stink and feel that, that they do have the answer. I mean, what what what's something that you could just give a message to or something you could say to someone that maybe should have said something to you or could have said something to you? What's something that you could give our listeners? Just God got a reason, purpose for you being on this earth, and please use your purpose, man. Please don't mess up your purpose in life. And listen to God, even when you think he ain't talking to you, he talking to you. Mm. And he, on everybody, y'all think I'm blessed and all this, everybody blessed. Everybody get an opportunity to talk to God. Like, and so what I'm telling you, like, just stay focused. Your friends ain't your friends and your girlfriend ain't your girlfriend. Mm. Mm. That's real. And I, I've i been saying that girlfriend part for the longest, though. So, <laughs> so, so he's he speaking scripture, y'all, on that one. For real, real. But um, so now that you're in this different mind frame, you know what I'm yes. saying? Like, like, 
what are you going to do? I mean, like, I mean, I know you can go talk to different people, be on Instagram, you know what I'm saying, talk, whatever. But, like, like, like artwork or, or music or something that, you know what I'm saying, you can put your energy towards, you know what I'm saying, to people. I mean, because, you know, you can be a motivational speaker all day long, you know what I'm yes. saying, the whole package, the whole everything, you know what I'm saying. When I heard your story about, you know what I'm saying, about your old man or whatever, and yes. I guess when we come back or whatever, if you want the light on that later, oh, yeah, you know what I'm yes. saying. But it's like, when I heard your story from my um, brother Walt over there, I was like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's some... Man, For real. you know what I'm saying? Like, that was mind-blowing, brother. You understand what I'm saying? And, and I know, you know, I'm just speaking for myself. I can't speak for everybody else. I know I'm strong on a lot of stuff, man, but there's some things that I'm just not strong on. And you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and just watching you and listening to you, it gives me hope and gives me encouragement. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Like maybe some things that I might act like a, you know, you know what I'm saying, yeah, you know yes. what I'm saying, now I'm like, no, man, my man Keith, he's yeah, a real yeah. Superman up in here, for real, real, because he's yeah. the one, you know what I'm saying, standing against all odds, and still got your head up, you're still smiling, you know what I'm yeah, saying, you're still definitely. doing your thing, still looking fresh, yeah, you got know to. what I'm saying, you know yes. what I'm saying, and, that, and that's what's up, man, that's, that's to God, you see what I'm saying, that's yes. something first can look at and believe in, for real, real, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. yes, but, yeah, brother, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I appreciate you coming here and everything, but I know we still got more questions for you, you know what I'm saying? So we going on the thing or something? Or, oh, I'm busy looking at Walt over here. Don't pay dressed me no like a fashion. Uh, don't pay me you know no attention, saying? Got Keith, man. Got Keith Ed, uh, uh, <laughs> Walt over here like y'all shopping at the same spot over here. Don't pay I mean, me I'm no attention. I'm free think of shirt but if it wasn't for that i'd be looking like i woke up out the trash and yeah man we used to clown your outfits every day but you got but you cool with that free thinker they shirt clowned it, but i kept it iron at least piece of it yeah. you know see the saying? chain he got on though keep look at this yeah, dude yeah, chain man. it's dude fried yeah, <laughs> i'm a hat, grassroot grind up in here baby come on now <laughs> what you talking about shoot i'm trying to grow my hair and be looking like the rebel over here. Forget man. about yeah, it. Peace. It'd be looking like <laughs> stitches in my head. It's all right, though. I, I accepted I the reality of it. All right, y'all. So I guess when we come back, we'll be laughing at me again, not being able to grow a hairline. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back on the Free Thinker Reality Radio with your boy, Free Thinker Gene. The boy, Free Thinker Walt. Keith Griffin. All right. Free Thinker Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we back live on Free Thinker Reality Radio with your boy, Free Thinker Walt. Your boy, Free Thinker Gene. Man, this <laughs> Walt up here eating this chicken, looking for napkins. All he need to do is just rip that T-shirt off and just wipe <laughs> his fingers off and everything. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But see, you can wear you can wear little shirts, man. Look good in it, man. You know what I'm saying? I wear that shirt. It look like a sports bra on me. So we ain't even gonna go there. But look though, y'all, we back, and we got a special guest in the house, brother Keith. But we also got another special guest in here, his good old grandmama. Now, if y'all just not joining us, this lady has influenced Keith. So much through his life and has been his uh, guardian angel as well. Almost, uh, almost took him up out of here by hitting him with a car. <laughs> now, we're not going to, she's not going to be incriminated because the case is already, you know, what didn't go to court or nothing. But what we want to do is, first of all, we want to thank you for coming here. But what I want to know is exactly in your words, what led up to him getting ran over uh, Keith had been gone all night Thanks, and this was like 2 o'clock the next afternoon 2 o'clock the next afternoon and I had been calling him he wouldn't answer the phone Okay. so I decided to get my car and go find him <laughs> no wait a minute hold on now, the car you driving <laughs> was it a big car or a little car? It was a small car. <laughs> it, was a, it was Sunfire. Okay. Yeah, sunfire, yeah. Ankle biter. Okay. Go and, ahead. And um, I, so I'm up there where he usually be at. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I know he's going to come around there. So I was just <laughs> sitting there waiting. And here he come around the corner on this bicycle. Him and two other fellas. Okay. So I said, keep coming here. And so he came over to the car. I said, don't you think it's time to go home now? Oh, I ain't going home right now. He said it just like that? Yeah. I said, oh, yes, you is. Uh oh. Oh, no, I ain't. So he got off and turned the bike around and he go and he go up this alley and I'm right behind. I'm behind him mm -hmm. and the two guys behind me. 
and he just going. He and he go down this one street. Then he pull up in this yard where the house has been torn down. Right. And he riding around in circles like he teasing me. <laughs> <laughs> so and he rode one time in front of me, and I just, I just tapped the back of the bike. You just tapped. Okay. So did the wheel up, knocked oh. him on the ground. <laughs> She bent and the whole bike up. up and ran. <laughs> so I said, well, run for me again. You know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and she love him, y'all. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So imagine she did love him. Yeah. Man, let that's me, what's let me up. say something before people get to thinking that's wrong. I'm glad she did that. <laughs> and I'm thankful that, you feel me, she always loved me and never gave up on me. I heard that, brother. It sounds like love, man. It feel like love up in here, and that's what's up. And I was just joking, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was hearing the story, and I was like, yeah, this this got to be said, man. You know what I'm saying? Grandmama running you over with a car, and you still loving. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) That's what's up. But that just lets you know, man, she ain't play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she's still right here. Got your back. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us ain't got that, brother. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how much money you got or who you know or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Love is love, man. And you know what I'm saying? That's something money can, you know, can't buy. Now, they be on the commercial talking about prices. That shit right there, that's priceless. You priceless. know what I'm saying? That's real talk, though. Did she knock you up in the air, though? Or did she, <laughs> <go>? <laughs> she, ain't, she ain't do that much, then, but she she still, you know, I'm glad she did it. Man. Okay, I'm about to say, she look like she's still uh, ready to do something <laughs> if, if push comes to shove. We should have our days. Well, that's not. I'm just the primary caregiver. Oh. At home. So. Oh, okay. So you the guard and the ward. Yeah, yeah. she everything. Okay. Everything. Mm. The FBI, all that. <laughs> 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 well we need we need that little probation officer at nine and then yeah. like man to get yeah. us right, you know, and everything. You know what I'm saying? At least you know with that one, man, you ain't got to worry, you know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing like trust, man, and, and love, you. you know what I'm saying? I and got people all day long, you know what I'm saying? Who I lay with and and and, and still got to sleep with one hour. Okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You talking about who we lay yeah. with? Man, go ahead. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Shout no, out you, to my wifey you know. out there. You know what I'm saying? I love you, boo, but I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> like but she just she just did so much for me, man. It's just mm-hmm. crazy. Like, and I'm thinking she doing too much. She aggravating. She this and that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But it was just for the best of me. You feel me? And she used to track my phone, <laughs> how I be around my friends. You hear beep, 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 <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Everybody know, oh, Keith, yo, get your phone, man. Your granny over here tracking <laughs> Like, she stay tracking me always. Wow. Just, you know, man, she, she never left my side. Mm. Well, I can say she never left my side through good or bad. Like, she never, ever, ever, ever left my side. Now, Mama, let me ask you something. Let me ask you a personal question. Now, is this your only grandson? No. No. It's not your only grandchild? No, my, his mother had four t- children. Okay. And I raised, well, the oldest one was 14 when she died. And oh. Keith was seven when she died. So I had all of them. Ooh. She didn't graduate. She didn't raise us. Now she raising the great children, the great, mm. great, great children. We only got my one niece, but. She just the, the real MVP. They don't make them like you no more, baby. Man. You hear me? They don't make them like you no more. I'm serious. And I hope every last female out there that 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 took that last pork chop from their baby because they <laughs> knew their baby was hungry and your ass felt you were still hungry. You just left your baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope y'all listening. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all listening. You know, uh, the, the women out there that... that that lie on a man or 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 or, or 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 don't just whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even even the somewhat good women. I hope all y'all listen. We go to men out there. Listening. Let's go to the chat room real quick, Jane. Okay, my we got Verna Darby. She said that that that's um that's tough love, and she said, "Hey, grandma." Hey. She all said, right, "Hey, man. Verna." That's uh, what's up, Verna. But um, but I w- like what I wanted to reiterate to you, Keith, was that um, my grandmother, like I said, that was that was my heart, like. When I came home, she provided somewhere for me to stay. And then when I finally got a chance to get on my feet and move out on my own, I stopped, I stopped going to see her a lot. You know what I'm saying? When, when I needed her, I was there every day. You get what I'm saying? And I ain't see her for like a month at a time, two months at a time, because I was busy working, doing what I was doing, traveling or whatever. 
And one day I was traveling, I was on the road, and um, I got a call, and you know, my grandmother had failed. She failed, she um, broke her hip. You know what I'm saying? When she was like 86. So when you get to that age, your bones get very fragile. So yeah. she fell, you know. But, you know, Grandma, she been surviving for so long, I never thought she was going to die. Like, I just never thought she would die. And, um, you know, she went to the hospital. So we would go visit her every now and then. But I wasn't even visiting her still. I was still working. Yeah. So then they was like, um, she ain't doing too good. You know, she was always doing good. Like, how she not doing good off a hip, off a broken hip? So she wasn't doing too good. And um, about a month later... They was like, well, yeah, you need to get up here. You know what I'm saying? Time ticking. I'm like, time ticking. Like, she just got a broken hip. And I got up there, and um, she told me that she had she had been having dreams about me. And she was like, um, so I get up. I rush in, you know, because oh, my mama always talking about something. She had a dream. I got shot or something in the projects. Yeah. So, you know, so I rush up there. I shoot up there. And her dream was, I ain't want nothing. I just had a dream that you was performing at a live band with a, um, you know, with some people behind you with some drums. I'm like, Grandma, that's all you wanted, you know what I'm saying? But at the time, it was, it was, it was, it wasn't nothing, but it meant everything to me because the day before she died, I had performed in front of a live band with some drums behind me. And I, I didn't, you know, I didn't like anticipate this though. And it was like, I had dedicated that show to her. And then the day after I did it, she passed, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of hurt me because the last time I seen her was in the hospice. She was breathing real hard. It was like a hard experience for me. I was like, dang. Out those months that I ain't go see her, you know what I'm saying? She was going through it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for you and for your grandmother to still be that close, man, I wish I had that. You know what I'm saying? I, I really wish I had that because my grandmother was the backbone of the family. It would be 20 of us in the house because she ain't let nobody go homeless. She was feeding all of us. She ain't care about nothing. Like, her family got to eat. Yes. And, you know, I just want to say thank you, man, and um, for being in his life because without you, ain't no telling where he'll be. You know what I'm saying? He's still here, and he got a purpose, and he going to live it. Right, man. I believe that. I believe that. Man, anytime, Keith, that you want to come here, talk, whatever, like we, like Pavement Slave Radio, Free Thinker, you know, Free Thinker since 87, we got youth organizations, you know, we hold yes. those, you can come talk to the kids. Yeah, definitely. You know I want saying? to. So that's what we into, man. Um, Feel free to say whatever you want to, Grandma. You can say whatever you want to say. We just, you know, I, I, I Keith was is the youngest of the his siblings. Mm -hmm. The girls they did pretty good. Um, Khadijah and Solita they graduated high school, employed. His brother, when when I when they were little, <coughs> Keith was always the one. You know how siblings get together and they, you can't tell who's telling the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all I have to do is ask Keith and he'll give me the whole story. <laughs> I mean, all of, and I, I used to always say, he is the only one that cannot look me in my face and lie to me. Mm -hmm. Like the rest of them, you know, you know kids. Mm -hmm. Until he started out there. Then it used to be like, okay. I used to count on you to be the one to tell me the truth all the time. He was asking, Keith, where you been? I, 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 I've been over so-and-so's house. It's why didn't you come home? I didn't have a way home. Mm -hmm. Keith, all you had to do is call me. I would, and, and then it got to the point where he did call me. And I used to get up. The kids used to say, you crazy. You're going out of here at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah I got to go get him. She got to. Yeah, I got, I mean, I'm not gonna leave him out there. Suppose something happened to him while I'm laying up here. You know, I had that and I did that. But like I said, he was always the child of my our, the four kids. When I got other grandkids, that would never lie to me. And um, I just got caught <laughs> up doing, trying to hang out, and I was trying to not say trying to be raw, but that you can't say it like trying to be raw trying to be that dude in the streets trying to not mind my granny and i keep just going to my granny because i swear like i tell her every day like every five minutes like definitely since i've been in this predicament like i always tell her granny i love you i yell in the other room i don't want none granny i love you Cause you don't know when she gonna leave and i want her to leave here this world knowing that you feel me 
your 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 dream was met. Like she don't want none. She don't do none. She retired. She don't want none from nobody. She just want to make sure that I can be the best person I can be. And just you know, just her man. It's just she she she's just a, just a soldier. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to go on a, on, on a short break on Free Thinker Reality Radio. We're going to get back more into Keith, and I got a question for his grandmother when we get back. But we live on air, Free Thinker Reality Radio, your boy Walt. Your boy Free Thinker Gene. Free Thinker Keith. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> the best hit. And we're back live on Free Thinker Reality Radio with your boy Free Thinker Walt. And your boy Free Thinker Gene. So listen here, y'all. Apparently... I don't know if y'all over there are still uh, hanging out with dog head, trying to get them potted meat sandwiches and everything. But I didn't told y'all, all y'all got to do is get in that chat room, man, and Payment Slave Radio is giving away two, all right, two free tickets to the Cavs versus Raptors game on Thursday, the 13th of October, to the first person in the chat room that named the feature artist on our website, okay? So it, it's that simple, y'all. Just type in who's our artist on the website. It's common sense who it is. Now, I can say his name, but I don't think Walt want me up there just blurting out that. You know what I'm saying? We don't I want mean, that. you might you, as well just go I mean, I mean it's the- common sense. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to, you know what I'm saying, just put Walt's name out there like that. But if y'all know he the feature one, all y'all got to do is call up. I'm sorry, not call, but type up. You know what I'm saying? And it's two tickets. That means, hey, you need to take your main line or your side check, okay? <laughs> Whatever it is you're going to do, you know what I'm saying? You got two tickets to go ahead and play with it, or you can take little Man with you. Or you can take that whatever, you know what I'm saying? But you're getting two tickets, y'all, to the champions, y'all. What are y'all doing? Yeah, hey, man, I had a good time the other day, too, because we was down at the when we was in the, um in the suites, man, at the top of the Cavs game. We were in Orlando. We were sitting up in the suites, man. We was talking a lot about a lot man, of good the coach things. Know everybody, man. So, you yeah. got to be kept, man. Jane okay. already got me. You already got me in trouble in the chat room, too. I just forgot to tell you that. Oh, well, you know what? Hey, man, if they can't handle it, brother. <laughs> then, you know what I'm saying? They're going to have to just change the station or go lay down and do something, man. It's all good. So, hey, I'm, I, I mean, because you can look at the board. No one still then typed in free. When we say free, y'all, you know, like them Obama phones. <laughs> just like that. I'm telling you, it's that simple. We're going to give them to y'all, okay? We're going to give y'all two tickets. No, matter of fact, we're going to even make it sweeter. Not only will you get two t- two tickets, but you'll get our featured <laughs> artist, CD, and movie, and you get a lap dance. From who? <laughs> <laughs> man, make it look, man. You hear <laughs> Only the women gonna get a lap dance for what? I'm not never doing that. No, okay. <laughs> I'm not never dancing. No, if, if you do it from the front, it, no, it ain't the same, I, man. I promise you, man. No. It, 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 okay, well, no. okay, well, guess what? Y'all blew it. Y'all blew it. Y'all blew it, okay? Because I was trying to get y'all out there and get a lap dance. So. Man, this dude be having all the women coming to me at work, like, oh, I heard you got a radio show. Gene told me, Gene told me. Yeah, can we I come told on? Can we come on? I'm like, this dude. Because I'm trying pimping. to get on. And he, he, you, and he, you know, he helped the people, but he's selfish with that. <laughs> he, he's selfish. He, he won't. He won't use his power for bad. You know what I'm saying? He's I mean, a good guy for gotta real. Be humble, man. Yeah, I guess. You I know, know you know. Yeah. I'll try it one day. All right, but let's get back into this, man. Um, I had a question before we, you know, before we went on break. I had a question for Grandma, and I had a question, and like when you answer it, I got an answer behind it because I, you know, I feel like this is like this need to be said. But do you feel like that it was your fault that Keith was acting out? No, I don't feel it was my fault. Mm-hmm. I feel that he was he didn't understand Mm -hmm. what exactly he was doing and he caught he it was like no i and i've tried to tell him but he just wouldn't listen he was listening to the people out there in the streets his friends Mm -hmm. or acquaintances or whoever these people were I, w- you know, I, I, and, and I don't think it was my fault. Mm-hmm. I know he was. I spoiled him, and maybe that was it. I don't know. I don't. Know. To cut, to not cut off my granny to excuse my granny. I mean, it wasn't her fault. It was really my fault mm-hmm. for making a bad decision, poor decision, what led me to have to wait till the stuff was cleared up. 
and just my mind my mind state was all it was negative then it was positive negative positive negative positive so about time the stuff was over I really thought it was over mm-hmm. then I was already caught up into the streets mm. and so that's where I was adapting to but I was still playing basketball I transferred these tech play for um coach Brad. Mm-hmm. I still was trying to have one leg in the streets and one leg in hooping, and to where you can't you can't do that. You mm-hmm. gotta keep both legs. First of all, point blank period. You gotta keep keep it in anything that's positive, and that's what I was doing. I was just one leg in positive, one leg in negative. So mm-hmm. it wasn't her fault. Never her fault. She always made sure everything was done, but. It was just my fault. I made a poor decision and that I shouldn't have. And, no, I just learned from it. I don't don't regret nothing that I did because it made me who I am now. But Mm. I learned from everything, and I hope, and I'm praying and making sure everybody around the world don't go through what I went through. Mm -hmm. And I had chance after chance after chance, and I didn't take advantage of the chances. So, you know. The, never, um, for it, never. I didn't mean to cut you off, Keith. No, you okay. The reason I asked you that question <clears throat> is because I know it wasn't your fault. You know what I'm saying? That's why I asked you. Because some parents get caught up in, oh, I didn't do this, what I was supposed to do as a parent. But I know it wasn't your fault. And the reason how I know that is because I was just like Keith. Like, I'm, I'm from that area. I'm from that environment to where we didn't have dads. And our dads was the streets. So we would run away from mama trying to be men. And it wasn't your fault. So what it was was what I used to do is run to the streets. And all the guys that sold dope and sold drugs, them was like my fathers. You know what I'm saying? Those was the guys I looked up to. So at the end of the day, that's how we, that, that's how we become men. We turn to the streets. has nothing to do with our moms or our grandmothers. So all, all, I think majority of the ladies in your generation did great jobs. Did great. very good jobs. But, you know, I, now, I did... When, when he she didn't do that. Not the first time, this time. And I kept saying, oh, God, if something I did, what did I do wrong? But, you know, I'm, I put it around in my head. I talked to God about it. And I said, it wasn't my fault. It was, it was what, because I was always there and let him to try to stand still in his head. This is not where you want to be. There ain't nothing going to come good out of it. And I kept, to, I know I told him that about Hundred thousand times. Mhm. Just, but just. Yeah, just learn for yourself. Sorry for this. cutting you up, but grandma. But um, I mean, it was really my fault because I ain't listened to the people who was positive and doing positive things in their life. I wasn't listening to them, and you feel me absorbing what they was telling me, and I just was thinking, oh, I'm cool. I'm this and that, and. Close buddy, one of my closest, who I call him Big Brother, he played for the Boston Celtics. He used to always, Terry Rozier, his name is Terry Rozier. Okay. He used to always tell me, like, keep do this, do that. Keep do this, do that, bro. They ain't, like, because he was, like, I feel like he liked the same as me. But he just used his stuff and went positive. Forget the negative. Mm-hmm. So he always told me, like, not just him. De Niro Lasseter, Rozell Hurley, Cash Blackwell, they all kept telling me, like, you feel me? Do this positive, do this positive, do this. I wasn't listening. And I'm listening to not them. I'm listening to the people who bragging on me. Oh, Keith, do this. Oh, Keith, everybody scared of Keith. Oh, Keith, the man, everybody, oh, Keith, stay fresh and this and that. And just want to listen to nothing that was positive. So it was never her fault. It was always my fault. You know, I, um, before we get into your question, Gene, I, you know, I used to hear stories. Like one day, I ain't going to lie, I'm, 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 I'm sitting in the stands, y'all playing Glenville. And, okay, and you, um, and you pushing the ball down. And you just, you know, you calling the shots. 
and it's this lady behind me like look at keith he's still he he's still trying he bad he bad yeah i mean we got shot he paid for shaker first and, and i'm just and the lady sitting right behind me and i'm like damn like she had nothing but negative things to say about this guy and i'm like man like why is this she was an older lady like yeah he bad he was up on saint Clair. he got shot before and, and this and that. i'm like and I couldn't understand why she was saying that. But um, we're going to get more into that when we come off a break. Yeah. You're live on Free Thinker Radio with your boy Free Thinker Walt. Your boy Free Thinker Jay. And Free Thinker Keith. On Payment Slave Radio. Yeah. Home of the Grand Grand. And we back live on Free Thinker Reality Radio with your boy Free Thinker Walt. Boy Free Thinker Jay. And Free Thinker Keith. Okay, so um, now that we back, brother, um, I wanted to get into a little bit more personal in your life. And um, I wanted you to... Uh, Explain who your uh, your father was and exactly what is it that he did and on also what happened. I mean, I heard the story, but for those people out there that don't know what's going on. Hey, my father's name is Kevin Griffin. He was sort of like me, but I want to say we had like similar ways. Okay. Like, he was real good at basketball. Right. He walked on, but he, he, I mean, he was real good at basketball, but he stayed in the streets, too. Like, he had one leg in the streets and just the same thing, mm. what, I, what I was going through. And he always wanted to be down the way, always wanted to chill down the way. But he was one of the best, they say, no, one of the best, or the best like you feel me like dunker like they say he can jump all through they talking about like what was saying he did a 360 first one to see a 360 off a fast break mm. and he stayed in the street smoking weed this and that he went to oh, uh, walk on he walked on to Ohio State University to play um for Ohio State, mm-hmm. he, he, what I want to say, he, he ain't make the team. He was probably they wanted him to start for Ohio State that year mm-hmm. with Damon Stringer and all of them. Right. He had, I think he had like forty some points. Damon Stringer had like thirty something. My daddy is just you know doing everything. He had, like he filled the stats, he rebound, um, points. And he, he really wasn't assist, but a little assist. Right. But um, he come past the drug thing, mm. then went back to the streets. And a couple weeks or months after that, he got shot over, you feel me, a girl. A dude, a girl influencing a dude to shoot my dad. But, like, he was messing with the girl, said something out of, not out of pocket, but said something to the girl. And the girl was like, you gonna let him say that to you, to me, talking to the dude. And the dude went right up to my dad and shot him mm. and killed him. And, I mean, he was just everything, smooth. Now, how, I'm not gonna cut you off, I'm sorry. Now, how old were you when that happened? I was two. Shit. Mm-mm. I really don't know a lot about my dad. I know a lot, but I don't know. As I just know as much as somebody told me, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Now, the only reason why I had uh, mentioned that was, like, you can kind of, like, hear how that pattern went. Yeah. And then, you know, you know, when it happened to your old man, you know, God bless the dead. And then it seemed like as if that curse was going to try to get you yes on two occasions and you still managed to get you know what i'm saying yes. so in my opinion i think god got you here for a reason everybody opinion you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah you no know, for real because i mean you know and, and and i might be wrong saying this but cert- certain people just ain't gonna be nothing in life they they they, they just ain't got no purpose but then there's some that do man and God got to sometimes talk to you in a certain way that you understand. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Now, you in this situation right now, now, shit, it's time now. Now, you owe. Yeah. You owe Granny now. Hello. Can you I owe say? Granny big time. Yeah, definitely. 
and not to cut you off, Boy, man, but like not even saying certain people ain't got no purpose. Like you don't know your purpose yet, mm. right? So you feel me? I didn't know I was gonna be that good at basketball. Mm-hmm. I was good at football, but I ain't know I was gonna be the number one point guard in the state. Right. Like mm-hmm. I used to just went to the wreck. I was a little dirty boy who went up to the wreck every day. Just stay occupied, like, and I kept working, kept working, kept working. End up coming off the B team, making the A team. Mm-hmm. A team end up. You feel me? We was real good, so we went and went and went. I was the okay player on the team. Then I turned to uh, be one of the best on the team, to one of the best in the state, mm-hmm. and one of the best in the country. And I just, you know, like, ain't nobody tell me I was gonna be that big. So I don't never want to say anybody and everybody. I mean, not everybody, but some people ain't got no purpose. You just gotta find your purpose and run with it and listen to God. Right. And God gonna tell you, man, when he give you them signs, please take them signs serious. Cause God, man, he always talking to you when he, when you think he ain't. He always talking to you. And okay, now let me ask you this. Now, the situation you're in right now, whatever, do you, when's the last time you had the rock in your hand? Uh, I mean, yeah, like therapy, I was trying to, you know, we stay trying to shoot the rock again like uh-huh because see, see i i, I wanted to wait to say this but i'm gonna be online and say what well, yeah. see see we got a ringer now mm-hmm. and see and when they be having those little you know little special things a little basketball thing and yeah. you come on there you're gonna bring them to the promised land mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying uh-huh. you be doing something like that as well you know what i'm yeah. saying anything and so and let me know what you're gonna do it because i'm gonna bet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna gamble <laughs> you're gonna get that money grandma you hear me yeah but when I was saying, man, <laughs> that you owe, uh, and I was saying that it's like, you know, like, God can use you, you know what I'm saying, for an instrument, man. Yeah, for you know what I'm saying? Yes. And, you know, play and have you, you know, tell your story and, and, and stop a lot of, of havoc and, and turmoil in people when they see that, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And they know you for real because you're yeah. looking right in the eyes, smiling, and you got grandma right there yeah. showing us right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So... You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I said, this this looked like a real good opportunity, man, for you to get it together and show the world you, man. Yes. So, and go ahead. And not just saying that, like, I mean, far as, you know, me still playing b- basketball mm-hmm. and thinking about basketball, I don't even, I barely even think about basketball. I just think about helping somebody that was like me or a little bit that can relate to me mm-hmm. and that been through what I've been through and just help them, man. Just make sure you tell them it ain't, it ain't, that ain't nothing. And not just saying, like, they are listen to anybody, but they are listen to somebody that they know, like, yeah, he, he real, mm-hmm. he true, he ain't faking about what nothing he's saying. Like, I ain't gonna never fake about what I said. I mean, what I be saying, but like, and I, sometimes I be saying it to people, they be like, dang, you been through that, you did this, you did that, you did this. Damn, boy, you got a, you got a story. Like, they always said, but I ain't never listen and believe them. But now, man, I'm hard with it. I'm trying to, anybody, anybody, any kid, you mama, you need me to talk to your kids. Please, my Instagram is underscore keep, the real keep Griffin. I mean, just ask me anything I will ask. I, I've been asking people. I've been, people been dealing me every day and asking me stuff. So i just been reaching out to everybody, anybody, moms, dads. Now say your Instagram uh, thing again so uh, listeners out there can know where you at. Underscore the real Keith Griffin. I had to change my Instagram name because <laughs> I wanted to be some, man. I don't want to be no, you feel me? Like, you know how they say, uh, what they call it? You know what I'm talking about? Like a statistic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah. you don't want it to be, because you're go on, man. You get one time to live. Make the best of it. Okay, we get ready to go on the short break, man. But before we go on break, since I, cause I remember you said you was only two when your dad passed. I want to tell you something real quick. I was in the sixth grade. I was cutting school. And your dad saw me cutting school. He like, what? I turned around. He like, what you doing? 
I'm like, I'm about to go to school. He's like, no, you ain't. Come here. Man, this dude walked me all the way to school and made sure I went to school. So, you know, that's just on a positive note, man. And um, we're going to go on a short break at Free Thinker Reality Radio with your boy Free Thinker Walt. Boy Free Thinker Jane. Free Thinker Keith. Famous Fame Radio, home of the best yeah, ground. Back live on Free Thinking Reality Radio with your boy. My bad, Joe. I'm eating this chicken right now. And it sounds good as hell. <laughs> Nigga ain't gave us a piece of nothing. Man, I say it's one for you over here, brother. And it better not be that damn dirty leg. <laughs> Yo, so uh, we're going to go ahead and congratulate uh, the winner of the two tickets, Verna Darby. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. There it is. So you went on and you got them tickets, baby. So look here. <laughs> if you ain't got nobody to take. You can come on up here. Well, no, I don't come up here, but meet me at the 55th gas station with a loud blunt, and I will be happy to accompany you. Now, Verna Darby, the winner of the tickets, if you look like hell, give me your ticket, too, okay? And I will take somebody else with me, okay? Where dog head at, man? We need somebody on you today, man. Man, dog head in the county, man. You know what I'm saying, man? He on house arrest, and, and, and dog head... You know what I'm saying? He was all, he was already out too long. You know what I'm saying? So, dog head, you know what I'm saying? And he, cut his, he ain't ran out of minutes. You know what I'm saying? You know, he he, he over somebody else's Wi-Fi. And, um, you know, he back eating his potty meat sandwiches and, um, you know, ramen noodles without the seasoning. So, he'll be all right. So, for y'all who don't know who dog head is, man, he... He participates in the chat room every week, man. Every Friday, him and Gene have a cracking session. We take a time out, like at least five or ten minutes, and just let them go at it. And Gene be getting at him, but um, Doghead don't be playing with you, The though. thing about Doghead is he has a whole week to prepare. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He had a whole week. He asking relatives. He, <laughs> he, he, he looking online. He doing everything. Me, I'm, I'm right here to talk about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about that. That mattress that he got with that hole in the middle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that he using as a toilet slash uh, chair, you know what I'm saying? So stop it, dog head. All right, I, you know what I'm saying? I know you out there listening. You're probably on somebody else's frequency. <laughs> you're probably under, under somebody else's name, dog mouth or something. You know what I'm saying? Or and, whatever. And we got to get grandma back because he really keeping it clean. Like he he usually just be oh grandma. He terrible. Look here. With the Anytime mouth. a woman can influence a person's life. Run them over and they <laughs> say they cool. Mm-mm, that's the best power there, bro. <laughs> no, that's, I'm the best my power. Best, I, that's the best power there. That's God there, bro. I don't mess with God. So I'm I'm keeping everything to a humble so, out of respect. So we down to ten minutes. Um <laughs> we take we usually take this time just to just free freestyle everything. Um Keith, Jean, Grandma. My oh yeah, let me shout out to my boy Bud, man. My my boy, man, he he here um Filming this, filming this whole session, man. We gonna get it on. Um, hey, YouTube. y'all ain't gonna believe where he from. Tell where he from. I, <laughs> I let him to come. Come tell him where you from, come bro. On, man. He gonna get. get come on, come on, get this mic over here with me. Hold on. Oh, yeah, hey, man. Come on, no, see, <laughs> go ahead. Raising the lamb, as you know. Go on, tell where you at. Shout out to Oakland, California, Vallejo, California, the whole band. Shout out to the whole band. You know what I'm saying? I love my Warriors too, and I love my cat. Real fan. Oh, wait a minute. Like, hold on. Oh, shit. I wait said, a minute. Hold on. I ain't know. I ain't know you going to say that shit. You <laughs> told me this nigga was from EC, man. I, I said, he's staying in EC. He's staying in EC. Stay in EC. He's way the damn EC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, he's staying in EC. Stay in EC. Stay in EC. Stay. Stay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all already you know how I told y'all about EC. I told y'all the Lord don't love EC. <laughs> but for some reason, there's some talent in East Cleveland. So I apologize because my man here is a bad cameraman. And you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen his work over there on Instagram of Walt. Got Walt looking all Hollywood on that motherfucker. So, oops, Lord, excuse me. I'm sorry, Grandma. You, it's the last 10 minutes. So I'm, I'm trying to hurry up and get it out real quick. But anyway, so. Uh, check out my man's work and everything. But you like I said, I thought it was from EC. He giving shots out to the enemy. You ain't even talking about you, <laughs> you, you ain't that dog. I know you yeah, ain't down with that. Oh, he got Boston Southerns all the time. Yeah. Man, stop it. Are you looking at that chat room, man? I know. I know. Who, 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 dog headed, um, put five more minutes on the phone. He no. <laughs> no, actually, I was looking at um, Bud's. Um, his um his Instagram page on um, Hollywood Yellow. That's where you can f- you know you can um follow him on Hollywood Yellow. Okay. And, um yeah, that's where you know video, t- 
taking pictures, photographer, all that, man. Um, just a good guy, man. Um, we recently just linked up, and it was just ever since then it's been clicked, man. It's I always believe in good energy, you know what I'm saying? I always believe in positive energy. No doubt. Positive energy and negative energy, you know what I'm saying? You can feel when it's negative, and that's when you got to yes, get sir. up and you got to leave. But when it's positive, that's when the conversation becomes fluent. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. It keeps going. It keeps going. And you constantly want to link with this person because there's very short people in the world that are positive. So we yes. are outnumbered, Keith. So on this journey that you're on, you got to you gotta expect a lot of crit criticism. Yes. Just take it as constructive. You got to make every negative a positive because the purpose that you have, you're going you're gonna to take a lot of criticism. So, brother, we with you. You know what I'm saying? They criticize you. They got to criticize us. Yes. So you already yeah. know, man. So we just let you know that we're here. And um, flow yours. I, I appreciate everything and free thinker. Just being here, you know, this is the first time. So... My talking probably ain't how y'all want it to be. Oh, no, you good, brother. You good. Definitely. You we had some dudes coming here and, and, and freeze up oh, on the man. mic. Oh, man. Hey, uh, what's <laughs> my man? Beast Man? What's Beast Man name if he listening out there? Cause you, <laughs> boy, you suck. You, gonna write, you better write down everything you say, bro. <laughs> he came first, Keith came here first time and killed it. He ain't here like, he, he like this. He like. And, it, and like, my man Keith a free thinker. Man. Yeah, so right yeah. now, we done jumped him in. You know what I mean? So, so flat out. So, yeah, brother, you come up here anytime you want to, man. And you bring grandma, but sometimes, grandma, you might have to get outside the room and I'll be trying to talk. <laughs> you know, man, whatever, everything. But we only got a lot of people, man. So, you have any last words you want to say, brother? I mean, I mean word, what ain't last we got eight word? minutes. So, you know, minutes, just, okay. you know whatever you, you want to say, Keith. Minute, go ahead. You, you know can talk. Saying? I mean, you know, whatever. Um... I want to thank God definitely hmm. so he opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. And just what I really want to tell you is like 95, 98% of them rappers y'all think y'all listen to hmm. and think they doing something, 95, 98 of them lying. Like hmm. they ain't doing what they saying they doing. And if they doing it, they used to do it. Mm -hmm. Now they, you feel me? They positive, uh, not positive, but striving for their dream. Mm -hmm. So all that negative and all that negative vibe that you feel me rapping, be having, and being out there in the streets and hanging with other people who ain't positive, man. Just do something that's positive. Do something that's occupy your time. If people telling you, oh, do this, do that, do this, oh, bro, I'm about to go to the gym. Oh, bro, I'm about to go in a book, read this book. I got a test tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm, I'm just, you know, just stay positive. Man, the recreation centers, please go there. <laughs> Started, I, I, they made me from nobody to somebody just being in there every day, working hard, focusing, and taking it serious. Like, just, you know. Find some, a mentor, somebody that's older than you, that's always talking positive. Just like my man said, too, like, it ain't no real gangsters or no real people who y'all think real. He would never, ever t tell you nothing negative. <clears throat> never. Like, always positive. He don't want you to be how he was or making mistakes he did, like. Just always think about that, man. Like, never, ever, man. Never. So, I just want to, you know, thank God. Thank my granny. Thank mm -hmm. Walt, because I connect with Walt. I had to mm -hmm. talk to him. I mm -hmm. wrote that just, you know, because a lot of people told me. But not just what people told me. What I saw, like, people ain't going to be here when you, you feel me. You ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. So, that's my whole stride and motivation is just to just to, to to be me and help other kids out and other people who who got law I mean got in trouble with the law and just you know trying to make it positive I'm trying to I'm hopefully try to like you know have group homes and some like to where the people who are on the streets can be working or trying to work or just doing classes to help out you feel me the younger kids under you like definitely like and god uh, i mean god always say too like the people under you ain't want to be here 
or yo, just like you got a baby or whatever. Like hmm. she didn't want to be here. You made her here. So all your responsibilities go last. That's your main responsibility. Mm-hmm. So just, you know, I ain't got no kids or nothing, but I just, I'm glad I seen it now to I'm 19 to be 30, 40, be got three felonies. And then trying to change, you know. Hmm. Damn, like, well, you speaking of, on me, bro? <laughs> right on my jack hole. Nah, <laughs> Wait a minute, now you, 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 you done brought up some of my past nah, things. I'm, kinda, <laughs> I'm just. No, I'm messing with you. Go ahead, man. And you see, you here trying to help people who you feel. Like man, <laughs> I'm messed up. Walk <laughs> saving me, man. Okay, I'm in the 70, 80 crew. Okay, that's messed up, man. I'm trying to ride this free thinker thing. It ain't, ain't no more hope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't had no young dude sound like you, man, when I was coming up, man. Everybody was sounding dumb like me. It was like, let's shoot him. But, you know, let's get him there. You know what I'm saying? It was all kind of crazy mess. You know what I'm saying? And for you to be at the age you are, the situation that's jumping down, happening right now, man, that, you're a walking testimony, brother. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's real. That's real. Because I, I, I was the same person who was that dude in the streets and who was that dude on the court. And who was that dude doing this and that and doing doing this and that? So, feel me, I always, I ain't, it always been in me to be a leader. Like, even when I was playing for the B team, I was always a leader. Because all these people I'm playing with, they, it's all from the suburbs. Okay. So, they really think they better than people who ain't got a, a lot. Right. So, for me, I ain't having a lot games we get blew out at. I still try to boost our confidence up and try to make us better. So that's why I went on the A team. But ever since I was young, man, I just stayed always a leader and tried to always be the best and make everybody else the best. Like anybody tell you, like, they like, Keith, he always, yeah, you could. You missed the layup. Yeah, we, you cool, you cool. Just better next time. Do this and that. I never yell at my team. So... That's basically, man. I just always been a leader. Always been, you know, trying to do positive. All right. Um, I like well. We down the last two minutes, and um, I just want to say thank you, man, for coming in, man, and um, oh, you're welcome. giving the people your testimony, man. It was it was very needed. I think what you just did for a lot of people who listen to the show is changed their minds about the streets. You changed their minds about music. You changed their mind about the guys who to look to for guidance. So, yes. just want to appreciate everything that you did, man. And um, well, your testimony is letting people know that there is a creator. You know what I'm saying? That there is a higher power above us. Because a lot of people will never came from your situation. Like Gene said, he got shot in a pinky and died. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. Real, Real yes. talk. And I ain't Real just trying shit. to glorify the shooting part of you. I'm just glorifying the strength of you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Thank you. I'm not. The shooting part is just your experience for you to find your purpose. But yes. I'm glorifying your strength, man. And I want you to stay strong, continue to stay strong. And just know that you have a purpose and you're here to serve it. And I'm yeah. proud to be a part of it. And thank yeah, you. Yeah. F- thank all y'all for allowing me to come out here and speak and talk to people. Because so I want to. I just want to get my word out, get my story out. I'm going ha- I'm to ha- I'm be having a book real soon. So yeah, there you, go. you can tell real mm-hmm. more details. But, mm-hmm. yeah, just, you know. Okay, okay. Um, We want to say thank you, Granny. Thank you. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Granny. Yeah, yeah and, and, and Granny will be uh, going into the next Sunfire commercial, but <laughs> she'll be advertising Sunfire cars. <laughs> <laughs> Full and <air> low gas. <laughs> <laughs> and good off of uh, Verna Darby that won them tickets. Like I said, Verna, now you hit me up if you need uh, somebody to help you out, okay? You it's time to I'm wrap saying. it up, baby. So we here to wrap it up. So it's over, y'all. Good looking out. See y'all next week. This is your boy Free Thinker Gene. Free Thinker Key. It's your boy Free Thinker Walt. Love the activists said Free Thinkers for president, baby. We went we on, we running. Uh oh. Yeah, Donald Trump running, I'm running. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs>